morning Suzuki community, it's Myron here at Zooks Off-Road. Today we're going to be talking about Suzuki Samurai Steering System Quirks. We're going to be adjusting it and we are going to be looking at where that U-joint is coming out of the firewall. Sometimes we get these cars and people have modified the steering systems and we see that the linkage that's supposed to be close to the firewall, you'll see what I mean in the picture, we've seen them all the way down to the frame. And what it makes is the steering wheel starts moving up and down because the shaft is separated inside the cone. So we always want to take a look at every car we ever see and make sure that that U-joint is four inches to the bolt off the firewall. If it's not, we take a hammer, pound it back up and figure out why it's sliding down. And again, you'll see that in the picture that we took. Now today we want to adjust a mechanical steering box on a Suzuki. How do we do that? First thing is we put our hand on the top of the steering wheel and we want to know does the wheel move if we move it one inch. Uh oh, one inch. Uh oh, two inches. Oh, I think I see it at three inches. What do we have to do? We don't want to have to move the steering wheel three inches before the tire turns. So we're going to adjust the mechanical box because it's wore out. This car's got a uh, hundred and fifty thousand miles on it and so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bottle we're going to take a look at the 14 millimeter nut we're going to put a screwdriver in it we are going to loosen that nut enough to turn it one full turn on the screw and then we're going to lock it then we're going to go back and we're going to check it now we're going to go one inch two inch now it's turning so I don't go like three turns on that I only go one full turn that gives my course adjustment now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it a quarter turn every time I have to open the nut and lock the nut because if you leave it loose then you're this is going to lie to you you know I'm moving the steering wheel here you can see my arm now, if it's got a lot of excessive play, more than likely what you've got is bad ball joints. Now, you're not supposed to take a ball joint and wiggle it around. It's supposed to be stiff. So, when you get down there and you're prying on stuff, or if you're watching it, and you see the, the ball joint wiggle, you need to get a new steering system. We tend to do heavy duty here. But we also, for the stock Samurais, we also have an OEM replacement because, as you know, the ball joints cannot be replaced on a Suzuki Samurai steering system except for one. So we sell the whole thing for a couple hundred dollars, all new ball joints. But if you're really into the heavy duty stuff, like, let me give you an example. If you have bigger than 235 tires, you shouldn't be running little ball joints. You should be looking at the one ton ball joints. And that's the MyDL, that's the MyTR, that's your OTT systems. We make those two. So if there's anything we can help you with, please subscribe. Please check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Go wheeling, be safe, have fun. Love you guys. Have fun. Ooh, this is going to steer nice now.